All right, this week on Real South Hunting, this is one of the highlights of our year when we get to go with kids. And this just ain't any kid, this is the super hunt. And let me tell you, the super hunt, it is named, that's the best name it could be for it. Man, we have made it up here to Jackson. We're fixing to meet up with Buddy Rob. And Dan, we're fixing to film a kid's hunt. I ain't no child about it. We're fixing to film up the, uh, they call it the super hunt. Getting to do this today has been, it's special because of, you know, COVID kind of messed us up last year, but. Then you're gonna make it for the Sunday event, right? Oh yeah, yeah. great. We plan on we plan on making the whole shooting match. Awesome. Uh, God always hey. lets things happen on this hunt that don't hop when me and you go hunt. Yeah. Toller. Toller. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Appreciate y'all coming out. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're gonna be filming over at Rob's. And yeah, we've been, needing, we've been needing some new, new pretty content. Acres. Don't be anticipating that gun going off. All right. I want to surprise you when it goes off. Now, when we get to the shooting range, uh, we run up on some kids here that are here to have a good time. You hear me? I'm Andrew. He's Andrew. Okay. I call him Kevin, but this is Andrew. <laughs> and this is Sam. I mean, Tucker. Tucker and Andrew. They're going to be hunting with us today or well, this weekend. This is going to be our crew right here. This is our crew right here. That's a, that's a handle. Yes. He wants to film. Are you going to be a cameraman? Be a cameraman. Yes. I thought you were going to be the hunter. You can't be the cameraman be. and the hunter. That's who? Look, you got to like look where you're aiming at. You, I am. You got it? Look, I'm down here. Look, stand up here. Hey, you're doing good. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Oh, that's cool. Look at You're at the super hunt. Yup. Yup. Yeah. You got this? I'm going to have my hand right here on you, okay? Had a good time talking to the game wardens. Uh, big shout out to them, Mississippi Game Fish Commission, for being a part of this and helping these kids get started. See, uh, can I have some? Shoot the, the hungry, hungry yard. Shoot the, uh, yeah, it's not in here. A little bit more expensive. Shoot the top. <laughs> Shoot that one. Okay, he's hitting the left one. Third, third 100 yards. That looks pretty good. Good job. We're racing now, I reckon. Uh -oh. We got a race. Oh, here we go. Hey! I'm not. Ho, ho, ho! What's going on, my man? You doing all right today? Good to see you. You gonna kill a big buck? You gonna kill one bigger than him? Uh huh. Now you listen to me. <laughs> uh huh. I got you, brother. <laughs> now y'all behave. This Santa Claus ain't missed one kid's name yet. I sat there and watched 90 something kids come through. And I'm telling you now, we got footage to back it up. His name tags turned backwards. Some of them don't have name tags. And when they walk up, Santa Claus calls them by name. You got that right. <laughs> All right, hop along. Come on in here. Have a seat. We meet the kids we're gonna hunt with, and we leave there and we head straight to the field. We is pulling up here, bro. Hey, dude, what a hunt! Go on, go. Got to do that, yeah. <laughs> I know. I went. I. She called him. She couldn't stand it. She called him on the way over. I thought there. he called her. You called him? Well, she sent him a text and said, Oh, yeah, I didn't have service then. Yeah, then he texted me back and was like, What? <laughs> uh oh. You're running money? I was fixing to pull over and say, I gotta check this camera and I was gonna let them set up. Right. And when, <laughs> when she got out, Brayden's face would have been like, No way, you got out of the hospital. 
Dan Robertson's grandson, Braden. Uh, he met us there. He's gonna be our guide, and 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 it's hit one of his best friends. I mean, he's been I mean, he's been hunting with this girl for years, and her name is Peyton. So this is the last time for them to hunt together. I'm telling you, this was just a really, really awesome, awesome hunt to be on, an awesome hunt to film, because we uh, there's just lots of emotions going. And I'm telling y'all, not 30 seconds before light was gone, boom, rolled her. Yeah, you dropped her, didn't you? Yes, sir. I'm talking about dropped her in her tracks. Yes, good, good job. Way to go. There you go, found good. Yes, sir. I like it. <laughs> I like it. So let's go see what we can find. There you go. I don't think she's going to be hard to find. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't think so. Perfect shot. <laughs> I plugged my ears about 12 times and you didn't shoot. Yeah, deal. We finna load this old girl up and go get some back strap skin out. Cool deal. Congratulations once again. We've made it to the woods and we're finding out who we're gonna be hunting with. And the the boy that I'm hunting with is Andrew. And now this is a character here, so I'm looking forward to getting into the stand with him. We got a crew that's going to the stand with us, but Monty's going to be the guide. I think we got five of us that are going to fit in this shooting house. First thing that steps out is three does. They come out at the back of the food plot and start working their way to us. And then all of a sudden, we look to the, the back left side of the plot and a buck just comes out of the brush. And he's really too far for Andrew to shoot. And uh, he turns and he just walks straight away from us. Well, it's getting about 20 minutes before it gets dark. And all of a sudden, I'm like glassing back there in the back of that food plot, waiting on this buck to pop out. And then, sure enough, I catch some antlers in the brush. Well, when he shoots, the camera flips up. So we don't know what happened. It looked like the deer was hit, but we couldn't tell. We couldn't look back at the footage and tell exactly where the hit was. It did, okay. You got shot on him. You got blood, you're gonna get a dog. 
So we get the blood trailing dogs on the phone and we got Bart Chancellor, Chad Smith, and Chad Myers coming to uh, help us look for this deer. And we go out to the plot where the shot was and they look at the blood and uh, send the dogs out. Kind of looked back that way and then went in the woods. Let me call you back here. I think we got him. Let me call you back. The dogs are going for it. Heck yeah. Don't hurt yourself, they tag team. Yeah. All right, man, we appreciate you. Good job. Good luck on your next one. Thank you, sir. All right, buddy. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all, sir. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. <laughs> My name is not Kevin. I look, I knew I'd make you smile. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Now it was late when we got back to the camp, and uh, Andrew had already gone to bed, so they had to go wake him up to come see his deer. And <laughs> he didn't have a whole lot to say because I don't think he was woke up good, but he was proud of the book. Well, the next morning rolls around and it's Tucker's turn to go hunt. We got Robert and his son Clayton guiding this time. We're going back to the same blind. We saw a bunch of bucks there, so we knew that'd be a good spot. We ended up getting there a little bit late, but we got in the stand without spooking any deer. Right here is where a bunch of blood, established blood, and also got some hair right there connected to that blood. Yeah. 
You see? Uh oh. Look out. What you think about that? That's cool. <laughs> What a shot. What a buck. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, huh? seven, eight. There you go. It's the first buck I ever killed. <laughs> <laughs> You're not excited, are you? I'm really excited. Let me, let me, did you shake? Did you shake when you, before a you lot. shoot? A lot. <laughs> then, What'd you say when you saw that one? <laughs> we hadn't been in a stand 20 minutes before those four does showed really? up, yeah. and then about another 20 minutes passed by, and this one and two others came. Yeah. That's a quick I hunt. Thought, I yeah. thought that's some efficiency right there, yeah, dude. Yeah. That's efficiency. Yeah. We had that whole stand shaking, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> were you shaking? Yes. They were I was. Hate, you were shaking. shaking. I told him. I said, I, I said, you come up here. I was gonna have him stand up and shoot out that end of the shack. And uh, like, I said, no, you just sit right here on my knee. Mm -hmm. He sat right there on my knee. And uh, that's what it's all about. Oh, right like there. That. Super Hunt 2021. Oh, and just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. The closing ceremonies when all the kids come on stage and tell about the hunt they done, the deer they killed. And let me tell you, I sat there and filmed that and laughed, cried, and done it all. But these kids, they I mean, they had such a good time. It's such a good group of people. So we're checking in, getting the kids settled. We're trying to take, see how much, how many deer were harvested over the weekend. We're getting them in and getting them out. Y'all have a seat. We'll get started real soon, all right? Okay. Hey, I'm Dan Robinson with Southern Outdoors Unlimited. We've been doing uh, the super hunt for about 15 years now, and we're here at the the kind of the banquet at the ending on Sunday. We have a little worship service and we uh, show and tell where the kids get up and tell all about their weekends. I'm with Alan Mumbauer. He's president of Southern Outdoors Unlimited. He's been involved with it for years and I'm gonna let him tell a little bit about where we came from and where we are now and where we're going. I appreciate it, Dan. Yep, we, uh, so we're a nonprofit organization. We actually got founded in 2018. Uh, we started as a NWTF, uh, National Wild Turkey Federation, uh, event called the Wheeland Sportsman back in 2006. Um, in 2006, we had, what, five landowners in, something like there that? One, one real big. Um, and then it grew from there, and over the next probably 10 years, no, no, about seven years uh, to about 2012, uh, it was run by the National Wild Turkey Federation, and then in 2012, it converted over to the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks uh, foundation. foundation, and they ran and organized as the Southern the, the Super Hunt at the time uh, is when it was renamed, and then in 2018 again we founded uh, our own nonprofit in Southern Outdoors Unlimited, started uh, started doing more events and and really building off our showcase event in the Super Hunt, and so. We went from, you know, maybe, what, five or six landowners. We had 53 this year. So 53 in 2021. Um, How many and kids hunted, did we wind up? We hunted uh, 90, 93 kids this year. 93 uh, kids. And it's, it's a big it, event. Oh, absolutely. In the middle of COVID, we had 20, let's see, we had 54 landowners. We hunted 96 kids, and we killed 130 deer that year. So um, a really amazing weekend every year, and this is just icing on the cake. After 15 years, it's been yeah. it's been amazing to watch all the kids that have been participating in it and just how they've been able to go from there and really just, uh, you know, watch them grow as they keep coming back every year and oh, yeah. um, see new kids get involved and just uh, how their parents kind of communicate with landowners, how landowners reach out to them during the year and just kind of hey, keep build that community. You get to be friends and know them on Facebook and everything. And what we've done at Southern Outdoors Lemon, limited we've done a turkey hunt now mm -hmm. we've done alligator hunt now for the last couple of years we've done an outdoor field day just in the spring late spring we get everybody together it's just fellowship you know yep. eating and fishing and things like that so we've been, and when we've done that we've evolved to the kids that who've aged out 
they get to come back and participate in that. The Super Hunt's just for kids 6 to 17 with disabilities. That's right, and it's actually the weekend before youth season um, yeah. in Mississippi. It's granted by the Mississippi Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks Commission um, to give these kids the opportunity to get in the woods before any other. So. First gun in the woods. That's right. It's That's an right. awesome hunt. We yeah. do it every year. We love it. Big time. Thank you. I tell you what, we're going on a lot of hunts each year, but this one's about as exciting from start to finish as we're going to do in a year, I promise you. Uh, had a good time. Thank everybody that was involved. Too many names to mention. A lot, a lot of people come together, uh, let the kids hunt on their farms, stay in their camps. It's just an amazing weekend, y'all. The people that, that, that join in with this and make it happen. So a shout out to everybody. Wish I knew everybody's name, every farmer, every landowner. Don't apologize for that. But let me tell you, we want this to keep going and we sure hope to be there next year. What's going on? You ready to do some hunting? For? Mm -hmm. Have you got it? You, you filming him? You're filming the filmer? <laughs> Look, he's supposed to be hunting, he turned into the cameraman. Yeah. Have you got me in focus or you just got me out? I said, dude, are you the real Santa Claus? And he just kind of chuckled. Give me a little history about when he started being Santa Claus. And uh, now this guy books up I believe he told me as early as July, playing Santa Claus. I haven't seen his face around, now, but I've heard that voice. I believe I talked to you on the phone one day. Is that what it is? Once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know this guy, bro. You know this guy? Yeah. He just rolled in from Orlando. He's yeah. He was at Disney World this time. Man, that is a fat That means Andrew can't shoot him. <laughs> no, so you beat him. <laughs> 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 Little competition there.